Welcome to Pure Math 030. This is an exercise, a lesson on reflections in the line y equal x. This is actually a review topic from Math 20 Pure, so many of you will know it already. So I'm going to start off with a graph, just a standard quadratic function, y is equal to x squared plus 2, and you can graph this on your calculator or not. Um, you probably know the shape of it already. It's a quadratic function with a vertical translation of two units upwards. So it looks like this. And um, no big deal. However, if we were to take this curve and then reflect it in the line y equal x. Now in case you've forgotten, the line y equal x is that line going through quadrants 1 and 3 with a slope of 1, so it's at a 45 degree angle, looking like that. And that is the third type of reflection that we cover. So I'll take that original quadratic and reflect it over the y equal x line, and then this is what I'm going to get. So instead of it open, opening up, it opens to the right. And that would be the reflected graph. And you, you can see if you tilt your head that it's a perfect mirror image over that y equal x line, so it's completely symmetric. And you may also recall that this reflected graph is called the inverse relation. And it is written in two ways. x equal f at y is the standard way. Or else, y is equal to f inverse at x. So you have the negative 1, which is the symbol for inverse. Now the thing of it is, you can only use this second notation if the inverse is a function. And if you look back on the graph we just, we just looked at, that is not a function when it was opening to the right. But you will see both these types of notation. The next thing that I would like to point out with this graph, if we took a look at the original, the point 0, 0,2 lies on it. In fact, that's the vertex of the graph. And then on the reflected graph, that point, 0, 0,2, is going to transform to 2, 0 on the inverse func uh, relation. If you were to consider the point 3, 0,11, which lies on the original curve, that point will transform to 11, 3. So you can see that all we're doing is switching the x and the y coordinates around. And that is always the case when you do reflections in the y equal x line. So reflecting the curve in this line will switch the x and the y coordinates. So every point along the way will undergo that. This is the basic information on inverses. The next lesson will show how we can take equations of a specific function and we can now work out the equations, the new equations, for all these three types of reflections. Thank you for your time.